Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys all had a happy 4th of July. I uh, hope you guys are also staying safe from this nasty, deadly, and uh, COVID-19 virus that's going around right now. Make sure uh, practice uh, uh, washing your hands. Uh, make sure you're wearing your mask out in the public. Uh, keep yourself and everybody safe. Um, we're going to get started here with a few exercises to get us ready for a couple of games that we're going to get into. So the first thing we're going to do is just put your arms by your side. Um, first of all, let me introduce myself, Coach Mercer. I have Coach Wynn with me again, Coach Lofton Collins back here. Uh, neck rows, we're going to start going to the left. Big round circles. All right, let's reverse it, go to the right. All right, shoulder shrugs forward. Bring your shoulders up and around. Get a nice, slow, good rotation in the shoulders. All right, let's reverse it and go backwards now. Big rotation. Get nice and loose. Very important that we get a good stretch, whether you're doing activities inside or outside. Make sure that we stay safe, we don't pull any muscles. Two more. Big rotation. All right, let's start with left arm. Bring your left arm across your chest, right hand behind your left elbow. You're gonna pull it. You'll feel the stretch right here in the back of your shoulder. Stretch and just hold it there. Don't bounce it. Just feel a nice steady stretch. <clears throat> All right, relax. Take your left arm out. Let's reverse it. Bring your right arm across your chest, left hand behind your right elbow. Pull it into you, get a good stretch. Feel it in the back of your shoulder. Three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, bring your left hand like you're patting yourself on the back, right hand on the back of your elbow. Pull it back so your hand goes further down your back. You'll feel a stretch here in this area. <clears throat> Make sure you're pulling back a little bit on your elbow to get a little extra stretch. All right, let's shake it out. Let's rotate. Right arm back, left hand on the back of your elbow. Pull back. <laughs> Coaches, you guys doing okay? All right. All right, three, two, one, relax. All right, we're going to arms out to your side. We're going to call them training wheels. We're going to do small circles. Small circles going forward. Three, two, one. Let's go backwards. All right, relax, let's go forward. Let's make wagon wheels, big circles forward. Nice rotation. All 
All right, let's go backwards. Nice, full round circles. Three, two, one. All right, shake your arms out. Start with your feet together. We're gonna go down, toe touches. Ready, gonna hold it for 10. Down. Three, two, one. Up, let's take your left leg, go over your right leg. Back down. All right, back up. Right leg over your left leg, go down. All right, everybody up. Straddle, spread your feet out. We're gonna walk your hands on the floor, walk straight back. Get your hands behind your heels. Try to grab the ground and pull back and feel a stretch in your hamstring. Try to bring your chest down to the ground. All right, let's walk it over to the, your left side. Left hand around your left ankle. Grab with your right hand. Hold the stretch. All right, walk it over to your right. All right, walk it back to the middle. Everybody up. Okay, let's just jog in place. All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right, stop right there. All right, you guys uh, go ahead and get you a water break real quick while we set up for the activities that we have planned for today. And we'll be back with you in just a few minutes. Thank you.
All right, guys, welcome back. The activity that we're going to get in today is uh, it's called fitness dice. Um, so what I have is just a regular oversized dice. It has your basic numbers one uh, all the way through six on it. Uh, then I have a smaller dice here that uh, has a variety of exercises. Uh, if you don't have dice at home, uh, if you have a small dice, it will work. It doesn't have to be the oversized dice. Um, you can actually make a dice, too, out of, out of paper uh, and put your dots on it to represent uh, one through six and use that as well. And then you can also make one if you don't have the uh, dice that have the uh, ac activities on it. So we have arm circles, jumping jacks, push-ups, toe touches, hop on one foot, and sit up. So that's the um, activities that we have or the exercises that we have on the dice. So what we're going to do, we're going to have Coach Collins and um, Coach Wynn. What they're going to do, they are going to roll the small dice first. Coach Collins, come over first. And what she will do is she's going to roll the small dice. And whatever uh, activity or exercise that it lands on, that's the exercise that she's going to do. Then she'll roll the big dice that has the numbers on it, and that will let her know how many of that particular exercise that she has to do. Okay, Coach, go ahead and roll. All right, she got push-ups. All right, and now she will roll the big dice that has the numbers on it, and then that will give her the amount of <laughs> push-ups that she has to, has to do. Coach, coach got a one. So she has one push-up. She can do the modified push-up. If you're struggling a little bit and you can't do a regular push-up, you can do a modified push-up. Okay? All right. We're going to go through this several times, several rounds here. Coach Wynn? Let you find your activity or your exercise that you're going to do. Jumping jacks. And we have a three. So he has three jumping jacks to do. All right, very simple. Uh, also, you can, if you wanted to, uh, to make it a little bit more advanced. Um, he landed on three. If you wanted to add a zero on the end of your number, uh, you could add a zero. Um, so instead, he would do 30 jumping jacks. Coach Collins, we're going to go again. And let's see what she got this time. She has toe touches. Toe touches. Now, the number is going to represent how many seconds she's going to hold the toe touches. She'll go down the middle, and then she'll go to the right, and then she'll go to the left. And for two seconds, okay? Coach Collins, down the middle for two. 1,001, 1,002. Go to your right, 1,001, 1,002, to your left, 1,001, 1,002. Again, if you want to add a little extra time to that to kind of push yourself a little bit, work yourself a little more, you can always add a zero to the, uh, to the number. Coach Wynn, we have push-ups. He likes push-ups. Let's see if we can get a six here. Oh, close. He got four, four push-ups. All right, third round. Back to Coach Collins. And she's searching to see what she wants to land on. And you know what? She almost landed on. She rode. You already did push-ups, didn't you? Huh? So we'll let her roll again. She already did push-ups. And she rode toe touches. She did that one. So we'll let her have one more roll, and then I'll help her if it lands on one of those two again. Jumping jacks. She hasn't done jumping jacks yet. And she's looking for the six here, I believe. Oh, she got a four. All right. All right, finished four. Back to Coach Wynn. Let's see if we can get an exercise we haven't done yet. Jumping jacks. Let's see if we can roll something else. Jumping jacks again. Toe touches. We got hop on one foot. Good, good roll, coach. <laughs> and it looks like we have uh, six here. 
<laughs> Three. Coach, you're adding a little dance move in here. All right, back to Coach Collins for one more time. All right, we got sit-ups. And Coach Collins got one sit-up again. One sit-up and one crunch. And last time with Coach Wynn. So several different ways that you can uh, push-ups. Let's see if there's something on here that we haven't done. Uh, we've done sit-ups, toe touches, arm circles, jumping jacks. Yeah, we haven't done arm circles. So coaches will be arm circles. And we have six of them. So he'll do six arm circles forward and six backwards. So you can, you can always add different variations to this. Um, like I said, you can add the zero. You can... Uh, uh, do squats, lunges. You can al also add different kind of exercises to this. Um, so anyway, this is something that will definitely work you out. Uh, um, just make sure that you do it, you do them correctly, and you stay safe. Let's take a quick water break, and we'll come back with the last activity. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, the next game or activity we're going to get to is called Sockum. Uh, what you will need for this activity is we have a, uh, we have a little can. You can use a trash can, a bucket. Um, if you have an old um, milk jug that you can take from the refrigerator, uh, orange juice, something that you can maybe cut the lid out of, you could also use that as well. Um, maybe put a little tape around the edges so it's not so sharp. But you have a bucket. You also can use any type of a bean bag, uh, kind of like a foam, uh, squishy ball. Uh, you can take paper, wad up paper, you know, put two or three things of paper. You can do a tape ball, uh, different things like that. You can take socks, use socks. Um, whatever you have at your house, you can use to, to play this sock home game. So what's going to happen? Coach Lofton Collins, step right up. Coach Wynn, step on up. Okay. So what's going to happen? Coach Wynn is on the purple team. Coach Lofton Collins is on the green team. I put her on the green team because uh, green is her favorite color because she loves money, she says. So uh, we, we'll give her the green team. <clears throat> um, so the, the, um, 
the way we're going to play this game. So before you, we're going to start with the bean bags first. Okay, so each of them will start with a bean bag. Okay, what they have to do, before they're allowed to throw this bean bag, they're going to have to do five, five squats. Going all the way down, four, five squats, and then they toss. If they toss it and they make it in the bucket, then they have to go to the next dot and stand behind the next dot. Again, they'll do five. Every time before you throw, you have to do your five squats. And then at the end, you'll go back to the last. You're working your way to the third. The first person to make three of their um, bean bags into the trash can or into the bucket will be the winner. The loser will have to do 10 jumping jacks. Okay? So, you guys ready? Coaches, you have any question? Okay? So, remember, before you're able to throw your bean bag or your ball, whatever object that you have that you're throwing into the trash can or the bucket, you have to do five squats. Okay? Three, two, one, go. Coach Wynn is going quick, going fast, and he's got one, yes. Uh, and Coach has got one. Coach Lofton Collins, great job, good job, Coach. Four, he's got five. Hey, we've got two in. Two for two. Coach Wynn, two for two. Coach Lofton Collins is a little long. Don't give up, Coach Collins. He's got to make this long distance. Oh, he's a little bit long. Remember, each time you're going to do five squats before you throw. Coach Collins is awful close. Oh, Coach, you're close. Oh, Coach Collins is back on the third one. Coach Wynn is on his third throw. Third toss from the third marker. Oh, looky there, Coach. Coach Wynn is a winner. Coach Collins, she has the pleasure of doing 10 jumping jacks. All right, now we're going to trade the bean bags this time. We'll take the bean bags, we'll put them aside. We're going to leave them in the bottom of your bucket to see if that puts a little bit of weight. So at home, if you have trouble, like our buckets were falling over, if you want to put a little bit of weight or you have something to put in the bottom of the bucket or the uh, trash can to weight it down a little bit to hold it up, that would, be, uh, that would work really well. Okay, this time we're going to change it up a little bit. So this time we're going to, our exercise is going to be lunges. We're going to go forward, right leg, left leg is one. We're going to do five lunges, right, left, two, right, left, three. All right, now... This time we're also going to change up from the bean bag to the little uh, softy ball that we're going to throw. Okay? Coaches? Ready? No? All right. Ready? Go. All right, each time you come back, let's take off one lunge. So now we're only going to do four lunges. Modify it just a little bit. And then when we come to the third dot, we'll only do three lunges. Both of them, again, just the same as the bean bag and the same as the ball. They made their first throw. Let's see if luck can continue on the second round. Oh, we got a rim shot right off the rim by Coach Wynn. A little long by Coach Collins. <laughs> I was going to say, good sportsmanship, Coach, but then he took it and he threw it the other way.
All right, the winner of this game gets to choose the exercise for the uh, opponent to do at the end of this. So the winner, you get your choice of watching the uh, other players do their exercise of your choice. Got it. Uh. It's just like shooting a basketball. Aim toward the back of the target. <laughs> I feel something coming on from Coach Coach Lofton Collins. <laughs> All right, Coach. Okay. Little long, coach. I'll cool down in about three minutes. <laughs> oh, we've got one here. We've got about 30 seconds left before we get to a cool down before we end this thing. So go ahead, Coach Collins. There's only two throws. You can make two throws in 30 seconds. You already did your lunges, didn't you? Oh. oh, we got it. All right, guys, so we're going to stop it right there. We're about to run out of time. We want to make sure that we get a good cool down. So, um, Different variations that you can do to this game, uh, whether it's what you're throwing in, the objects that you're throwing, the different type of activities that you can do, exercises that you can add to it. Um, so let's cool down a little bit. Let's um, put our feet together. Feet together. Let's go down, touch your toes, hold it. All right, come up. Let's go left leg over your right leg. Go down. All right, up. Let's go right leg over your left leg. All right, come up. Take your left leg. Let's lunge out. Make sure when we lunge out, we're keeping that knee right above our uh, the heel of our foot. Big, tall chest. Feel it in your right hand, uh, quad. Up. Right leg out. All right, up. Bring your left arm across your chest. <clears throat> Switch it, right arm. All right, guys, um, I hope you guys uh, um, have uh, a chance to do these couple of games that we've, uh, we've introduced to you at home while you're at home and you're looking for something to do. Uh, like I said, different variations and different things that you can do and you can change it up in many ways. Uh, my thanks to Coach Wynn, Coach Lofton Collins for being here. Uh, we want to remember or, or to remind you to stay safe, to stay active and be healthy. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.